Kubuntu 1504 is probably one of the most drastically changed of all the 1504 releases. So not only have they had to change from System D to SysVinit, but they have completely mo moved over to the Plasma 5 desktop. The Plasma 5 has a new modernized look, smooth graphics performance, better support for the high definition displays, and a brand new launcher called Kicker. Unfortunately though, yeah, there, there is a catch with this desktop. The Qt4 widgets will not work with the new Qt5 framework. So if you heavily customize your old Plasma 4 desktop, you'll find a severe lack of widgets. Although there are more widgets available, compared to when I first looked at Plasma 5 six months ago, it's still a catch-up effort. But if you're not really interested in customizing your desktop, you'll find this latest release of Kubuntu 1504 absolutely fine to use. For me though, well, I liked it so much that I backported the theme into Kubuntu 1404, and I have a video on how to do that. But as far as day-to-day -day use of the system, I didn't really find any notable issues using the older Qt-based apps or even GTK apps in 1504. But I can see it's going to be a catch-up effort bringing in new widgets and modernising Qt-based applications, so maybe Kubuntu 1510 will be even better. I'm looking at Kubuntu on a full system install because it doesn't work properly in VirtualBox. We're well, starting with the layout of the desktop. On the bottom left hand side we have the kickoff launcher, you've got currently open applications, then on the bottom right hand side you have the system tray and the newly designed cashew. So the new kickoff launcher is really responsive, so if you start searching for an application, results immediately appear on the first letter. Now you can either scroll down that list with the up and down arrows or you can continue typing and get to the application that you want. This also searches for recently open documents as well. So I could open this screenshot. Now it didn't appear that you can search for documents from the kickoff launcher. You could do that in home run. You could also do mathematical calculations as well in the searcher. You can't do that here. So you do have some improved functionality to the menu, but overall it's not quite as good as I thought Home Run was. So the distro has been really nice and snappy and responsive. I mean, considering we are using Kubuntu here, it was never renowned for being the most, the lightweight, snappiest of all the desktops. But honestly, this new release of Plasma 5.2 is actually running really well. And in terms of the boot up speed, I'm clocking in at about 12 to 14 seconds from grub to logging in. It's slightly quicker than Kubuntu 1404 was. One of the downsides with this KDE Plasma 5 desktop is that the widgets from Plasma 4 no longer work. And there's not exactly a huge amount yet available. So you can go into add new widgets and you can download new Plasma widgets. And scrolling down the list, you can see it is rather short. But developers will catch up and there will be more widgets available. But if you do like customising your desktop, just bear in mind that there are a limited selection of widgets available. However, in terms of customising the theme, there's quite a lot available because the old themes do work still. Looking at the customization, we have this new theme called Breeze. You can install new themes. There's a new cursor theme called Breeze. But you can also use the old Oxygen cursor theme as well. The splash screen does look quite nice, but I can't show that in the live system. The hardware compatibility seems to be a lot better in Kubuntu 1504. For instance, I had this item of hardware listed here in the driver manager for the AMD microcode firmware. I believe that was available before within the package list, but you had to go and manually install it. But this time, is automatically recognised that I do have this item of hardware and that the drivers are available for it. All right, same as well for the sound mixer. I have the Yeti stereo microphone listed. This has always worked in Ubuntu, but it's never been listed correctly by its name. So that is good to see. In terms of the applications pre-installed on the system, we'll just take a really quick look through. There's nothing that special there under graphics. Under internet we have Firefox for the web browser and KTorrent for the torrent client. Under Office we have the full suite of LibreOffice. 
and under multimedia we have Amarok for the audio player and Dragon Player for the video player. I've installed Simple Screen Recorder for my screencasting. So here's what I thought of Kubuntu 1504. So you have the new modernised Plasma 5 at desktop. A neutral point here that Systemd has replaced SysV init. So depending on your point of view, you may find that a good or bad thing. I wasn't really that bothered by it. But on the downside, widgets from KDE 4 do not work with KDE 5, and not many have been ported across yet. And it does take a bit of work to get the best out of KDE. You can use it out of the box, but if you want it looking even nicer, and if you want things like uh, better rendered fonts, you have to put in a little bit of work for that. But overall, I've given this distro 75%. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.